This is my joint mobility warm up. I do this every morning or before I get on the bike, before a training session, or if I just need to limber up, if I'm not feeling so good or if I'm having blood flow restriction anywhere. Uh, it's great for joint mobility, joint integrity, and just increasing blood flow across all the major joints before you do any significant movement. So I like to do it as often as I can. So remember to breathe throughout the process and just follow along. Starts with the head and works your way down to the ankles. So for the first movement, it's ears to shoulder, side to side, and don't forget to breathe. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. We go for about five to seven repetitions to each side. Doesn't matter too much. You can do as many as 10 or 12, depending on how much time you have. And then we go chin to chest. And remember, each of these movements, you want to kind of pull it as best you can with the muscles that you have to the extreme. And if you want to add a little, you can with your hand. Next one's over the shoulder, looking over the shoulder. Feels really good on the neck and the neck muscles. You don't want to be jerky with these movements. You want to be smooth. Give it a nice push to either side. All right, for the neck. Next, shoulders. Start with arm circles. Nice small ones. We're gonna do a lot with the shoulders. You'll get to the point where you're ready to put your arms down. A little bit bigger. Then even full range of motion circles. Now we're going to just change that direction. A little bit smaller. And then real tiny. Across the chest. corrected myself on the mouth breathing there. And we can go up and down in front of us. Shoulders should be on fire now. Okay, now we're gonna move down to hips. Hands on the hips, rotate in a circle. Pop, pop, pop the hips and knees for myself. And in every direction, you want to feel a slight stretch in the hips. When you're here, you want to feel it in the hip flexors. When you're here, you want to feel it in the inner thigh and outer thigh. IT band region, same thing over here. And then in the rear, you want to feel this in the hamstrings and in the calves. So you want to push the butt out in all directions as far as you can get it as you rotate through these movements. Change the direction if you haven't already. Next one, we're gonna hold a globe in your hands. Rotate that globe around the body, opening up the thoracic spine and the hips as a unit. You'll hear me say as a unit often. You'll hear me repeat a lot of things I do often. And if I'm repeating it, that means it's important. It served me well over the years. Oh, it feels so good. Well, from that one, we'll move right into the uh, thoracic twist. Looking behind you, rotating the hips and the shoulders together as a unit, again, but individually to either side, looking behind you, turning that neck, turning at the hips. All right, lift one leg in the air, balance work, squeeze the stomach, and rotate the hips as far as you can. You should feel a nice stretch 
through the hip region. Five in that direction, then you come to the inside. It's easy to fall off balance on these. Grip the floor with your toes. By the way, do these barefoot or with socks on. If you're wearing a big running shoe, it'd be even harder to balance. I don't recommend any running shoes. Finding a flat soled shoe for most training or barefoot training as best you can. Other leg. Obviously, you gotta walk in something. Try to find a good barefoot shoe. I can recommend those. Send me a text about it or bug me on email or whatever. Come to the inside. Every single time, clenching the stomach for balance. Clench the stomach for balance. See, I fell off balance right there. Good example. I wasn't clenching my stomach. I was talking. Feet, feet together, knees together. Rotate the knees in a circle. And you want to push as far as you can so that you actually can feel it, the stretch in your ankles. Pop, pop, pop. Both directions, change direction, whichever way you were going, go the other way. <clears throat> Last one, you're going to trace the ground, trace the outside of your foot on the ground, rotating. You can feel this stretch in your foot, it feels really nice. <clears throat> I've been doing these for a decade. Knock on wood, haven't had really hardly any injuries, a few minor tweaks from time to time when I don't warm up. As you get older, this warm up becomes more and more important through the years. Other leg, other foot. Warm up longer than you think you need to before you lift anything heavy or get into any sort of intensity training. Slow warm ups. You'll thank yourself later. Anytime I do tweak something, it's always, always, always because I have not warmed up properly. And then I have to sit out for a week. Luckily, I'm usually healed within a week. Whew. All right, that's it for the joint mobility warm up. There's a lot more, and we'll do more of those types uh, and more and different ones um, in the future.